two iMovie Basics tutorial number 20. All right, in this tutorial, what you're going to learn about is how to take all your pictures that you took from the stop motion stuff and put it into a video. Um, some things that you need to do first, though, is make a new project, um, a blank project. If you don't know how to do that, up here in File, you just got to press File, New Project, and then you'll have this blank project set up here. You don't really need to make a new event for this one because um, we're not going to be putting any video into this one. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to right click anywhere in this area right here and we need to look at the project properties and this is pretty important otherwise um, some of the defaults end up messing things up. So over here we want to look at um, all this initial photo placement. Um, some of them, the way that it's default is set at Ken Burns. So every picture that you would pull in it does an automatic Ken Burns effect to it, and that is hard to, it's not hard, it just takes a lot of time to undo that after you import them all. So we're going to take care of that first. So we're just going to do fit into frame. Um, and the photo duration, um, I think it's set at 4 for, um, for the default, but we're going to pull this all the way down to 1 second, and then we're going to even have to fix that again once we import everything. So press OK on that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our little picture button over here on the right and click that. Here you want to look inside of your iPhotos. The easiest way for me to do it was to just look at my events and then I can just scroll down to the bottom to this event right here. Um, you double click that and you get all your pictures here. Now I have a lot of pictures. so over 100, 140 pictures. If you look down here, you can tell it's 140 pictures uh, that I took. Um, I used a timer that they basically took a picture every 10, every two seconds, and that made it a lot quicker to do this. Um, so, all you do is click and drag and lasso all of your pictures all the way down. So they are all selected. Mm -hmm. Then once you have that, scroll back up to the top. I don't know if you have to scroll back up to the top, but I just did. But then you click and drag and pull it all the way to the front. Now it's bringing in the 140 stills into your project. Okay, so now all my pictures are in here, but now they are all, if I click over it, they're one second long. I need to make it even shorter than one second, so I'm going to go into this little gearbox or the inspector tool and do clip adjustment. In here what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in point one, uh, and then I'm going to apply that to all stills to make sure that it's checked, and then I'm going to press done. Now each of these should be point one. Perfect. So uh, now when I press play, or press the space bar, all my magnets start moving. It's going by pretty quick. But every once in a while you can see me coming in and out of the photos. So I'm just going to go back and delete all those where you can kind of see me. And there's really not going to be much of a difference. You're not going to see a big change. Um, now for this project, you're going to import all your pictures, change it to 0.1 seconds, and then you're going to also add a title. If you don't remember how to add titles, uh, here's the titles right here. You add a title at the beginning to kind of give it like a theme, and then also we're going to add some music, um, which is right here, and you can just choose from any of the music that you have on your computer. Um, and then at the end, I also want another title here at the end. Um, and that's all for this tutorial. Um, so, assignment. You need to have 100 pictures at least, and you're going to do some type of stop motion, Im import them into um, iMovie or into iPhoto, and then after you do that, you're going to take it from iPhoto and put it into your iMovie. Um, if you don't know how to import photos into iPhoto, there is a tutorial on that. Just look back at the previous tutorials. And that's it. Thanks.